In this short video, we'll go over how you set your safe area and choose your pattern from your pattern library. The safe area is the area you define that is an acceptable range of movement for the sewing machine on your frame. Before you can choose any placement or sewing options, your safe area must be set. Your safe area should be the entire quilting space you have available, not just the area of the quilt that you'll be placing your pattern. You'll be asked to set the safe area first thing after clicking Select and Sew or Pantograph, and you'll be directed to select the upper left corner. So let's do that first. We're gonna select the Select and Sew, and the first thing it does is ask for the top left corner. So I'm gonna go as far as I can, and when I hit my top edge, I'm gonna come back just a little bit and select my top left. We're gonna do the same thing with the bottom right. We're gonna come over gently until we hit the far edge, pull it down, and then in a little bit to select the bottom right. Next, we're going to select a pattern. There are over 200 patterns in the pattern library to choose from. We've got blocks, we've got continuous lines, We've got triangles, these are great for corners, and we've got border sets. We've also got a folder marked patterns that we can place any designs that you create. This is also a great place for you to put any imported designs and there's many different file types that work from other places. Today, I'm going to select a block pattern. Once you have your pattern selected, if you realize that you've made an error in selecting your safe area, don't worry about it. You can easily go to the toolbox and you can reset your safe area by selecting set safe area and you can select this all over again, starting with your top left and then going again to your bottom right. We can't wait to see what you create with your Dream Motion and your Dream Motion Pro. So don't forget to tag us at Brother Sews and we'll see you again here real soon. Thanks so much.